<laughs> this is Meatloaf Week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. What's wrong with Meatloaf Week? Nothing. Nothing. Wait, nothing. You're right. Absolutely nothing. But it's not three meatloafs like Max thought it was. It's one meatloaf today and a brilliant, delicious one. And then it's two things to do with meatloaf Wednesday and then one on Friday. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're doing. All That's right. We got to start. We got to start. I need a bowl. You have one meatloaf in particular that I love. I hope, I'm hoping that it's that one that and you're making. And that's what we're making. Uh, we're making, it's called Mexican meatloaf. Yes. And it's, it's very simple. There's one little wrinkle today that screwed me up a bit, but we'll get ourselves through it. What makes it Mexican? Uh, kind of the seasonings that I put into it. So it's, look at it. I think it's got jalapenos in it too, it's, right? It's got diced chilies. It's yeah, got fajita it. seasoning. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that's good there. There's chipotle in the, uh, in the, the thing, on the deal on the top and the whatever. So <laughs> let me get all my shit out of here. And the sauce, I think you're talking about. And the about. sauce, right? This? this? This meatloaf has one of my favorite sauces alive. Yeah, this is just a fantastic combination of flavors that work super well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Did you have a good weekend, Lynn? I had a great weekend, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was gone to L.A. Um, oh, some, yes. Did you were in L.A. There. How was that? Good. I mean, going to L.A. is always a lot of fun. It's always... It's L.A. Um, yeah, no, Max knows. It's L.A. Yeah. Excellent. It's LA. I'm not, I'm not. Oh my gosh. I like LA for what it has to offer. I don't like going to LA because the traffic is always so unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. It could take you two hours. It could take you four. We had this conversation the other day about what, what it took you to get home from here and how they got to the space station in six hours and it <laughs> took you three and a half to get to, to get home. Yeah. Wow. All right. So this recipe uh, I'd like to mix the meats in this. And this recipe normally has uh, about a pound of uh, ground beef right there. And I'd like one with a little bit of fat in it because it's, you know, not too much, but it's lots of flavor. What fat we, means flavor. We're talking like 80 20 in that thing? Yeah, exactly. Got it. Um, and wait, I, use a, I use a pound of ground pork with this. For, wait, wait, for anybody who doesn't know what 80 20 means, can you explain that real quick? It way? means there's 20% uh, fat, 80%. Not fat. There you go. Like the like the ground beef itself. Yes. Yeah. And I use a pound of ground pork. But I went to the store today. Damn it, they don't have ground pork. So my options at that point are what? Leave, go to another store, or substitute. Yes. I'm substituting with uh, Italian sausage. Nice. I've done that before too. Which is a, it's a great a great thing and to you do. You can get spicy or sweet and exactly. flavor it up. Uh, I've said. I think that one of the, some of the best recipes I've come up with have been when I've been forced to use something that, uh, something else because the original thing wasn't available. Just do that. Don't make everything always the same way. My grandmother was the master of that. She could, she never made shit the same way twice. And it got people in the family mad. Really? So, uh, <laughs> yes, so two eggs. Because they would go to her house expecting something and then it would be completely different. Did I just drop it? Did you miss? It sounded like I did, but no, it's all fine. Okay, so two eggs, a can of uh, diced green chilies. Yes, of course, make your own if you want to. Have that. <laughs> Buy the whole ones, roast them, peel off the black, dice them up, put them in a jar for use at a later date, or do this. <laughs> and that's my preferred way to do it. But I've said it before, the diced green chi chilies are on the shelf beside the whole green chilies. So just be aware, the canister looks the same. <laughs> uh, breadcrumb to help hold it together, and I use panko, and I use this much. That's about a, a handful. It's so about a half a cup, maybe. <laughs> a pack of just everyday basic fajita seasoning. I feel like that's it. I feel like that's it. Nothing else is it. That, that's Nothing a really else. simple meal. I mean, usually when you look at meatloaf recipes, they don't look this short, you know? Yeah, no, I think it's... Uh, it's pretty good. It, trust me, it totally works out. Okay, so now everything's got to be mixed, right? And the, the only way to do it is to use your hands. If you're going to cook, you got you to gotta get in here sometimes, right? Yeah, you can wash your hands after people. Come on. Exactly. I know a lot of people it's don't. Not, I'm not going to lie. It's a little gross, but 
it's worth it in the end. This got me through college. This meatloaf? I would love to make a meatloaf and then I'd, yeah, I'd hold on to it for, you know, a week after and make meatloaf sandwiches and stuff. There's nothing like a meatloaf sandwich. Oh my God. Oops. A little bit full like you flinging stuff all over the place? I'm flinging stuff out. Okay, here's the other thing. Uh, I have a loaf pan. I don't use it. And I don't use it because of this reason. Because I know that I can do this. Shape it with my own hands. Wow. And make it look like a loaf. Why do I need to mess something else up? Freeform's the way to go, man. I guess I'm messing up this baking sheet. So what's the difference if I use a baking sheet or if I use a, uh, a loaf pan? But still, I like it. There's something a little more sort of artistic about doing it this way. <laughs> that I really like. You know, I don't know why. I always made mine square. Oh, totally square? Yeah, I like, guess. You like, mean like, like like a cube? Like even yeah. on all sides square? Like even this way, this way? This well, way? no, no, not necessarily. No, I guess if you're considering all dimensions, it'd be more like a rectangle. But I just mean I would do it same width and same length. No. I'm confused over what that means. Uh, he, uh, that's a rectangle. Same width and, and length. Just is completely square. disregard height. He means like this. That right there is a rectangle. Top. I'm saying a square. Yeah. If you look on top, but it's probably only like this, this high. Huh? That's what he means. He's still not okay. getting. <laughs> I'm, I'm really getting it. Because yours from the top looks like a rectangle. Max's from the top is gonna look like a square. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, All right. Why, Sorry. Keep going. I was like, why not try other shapes? Do like a circle. Exactly. I'm gonna make a little meatloaf pie. <laughs> circle. I'm gonna make mine a circle <laughs> next time, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make mine in a butt pan. <laughs> <laughs> Individual cool. meatloafs. Right. Well, you can do those in muffin pans. Meatloaf that's a, cupcakes. That's a, <laughs> uh, that's a classic. What am I looking for? And what am I even trying to say? That's a classic use for a, um, a muffin pan, is yeah. make little meatloafs in them. All right, so now here's what goes on top the oven's at uh, 350 degrees. Universal temperature. So now we take ketchup. And I think I want like, or you want to make extra sauce so that it lives beyond just going on top of the meatloaf. Like when you, when you make a meatloaf sandwich, you want this sauce for it. Yes. So the only two, other two things that are going in this sauce are this, are some chipotle. We've talked about the chipotle. How how smoky, how delicious it is. So I'm gonna put like these two guys. Chop them up a little bit. You know, it always kind of baffles me how simple a meatloaf glaze is. I mean, some people just use Heinz ketchup and that's it. Right, well, and you, and you definitely can, though I think that this, so the chipotle, the ketchup, and now apricot jam. Mm. And apricot jam is going to help bring sort of the glaziness and the sweet to this whole thing. And that's it. Nice. So now we'll put some over the top. Mm -hmm. Looks great. It does look good, and it's done. It's done, down the sides. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, wait till, wait till it comes out all done. <laughs> and you really like, have you not had this? Not I, had this I, I've never had this, no. You're gonna like this a lot. I don't even know when the last time I made meatloaf was. Well, make it tonight. Yeah, maybe. Okay, that's it. Damn, it looks perfect. It looks good, right? 350, in it goes. Uh, meatloaf. Uh, a two pound meatloaf like that's going to take about an hour. A thermometer to, shoved inside should probably be around 160 degrees when you're done. I saw a little bit less is fine and more just dries out the meatloaf and you don't really want that. No. Nope. So try and get it before it starts to dry out too much. Uh, listen, let me tell you about fixtures living for a second. In their store in San Diego, they have all these vignettes all set up. It's a beautiful store, and a vignette is, you know, they have like a, a pretend kitchen all over. So you can see the appliances and cabinetry and stuff like that. They're moving the store in San Diego, and all of that stuff you'll be able to go buy for, I don't know how much, but certainly way less than you could go buy the stuff if you were just buying all the pieces brand new. And the stuff's never been used. 
It's like a kitchen that looks all beautiful and everything, but the, but the decor stove has never been used. You can do that. Uh, check them out online, fixtureslivingcom or on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Facebook.com forward slash fixtures living. They're on Twitter. Have a look. You will like them. We want you to like them, but we don't have to tell you that because you will like them. Kitchen, bath, outdoor joy, that's what they do. It's an amazing store. That shot right there is a Costa Mesa. And as they say, does that look like a plumbing and appliance store? Heck it does no. not. Fixtures Living. We like them. We love them. What could possess a man to let out perfectly good steak go up in smoke? How's yours coming? It still needs more time. Mine too. Mine too. All right, so we're cleaned up. We're cleaned up, and now it's time for this glorious... Wow, cannot wait. Where do you see this? The bubbly, meaty goodness. This beast. The smell in the kitchen. It's amazing. Look at that guy. Wow. Come on now. Wow. Look now, at that. the right thing to do... Turn it towards me. Towards you? I want to see, like... He wants to yes. see the frontal shot of it. There you go. You like that? I just wanted to see, like, the length, yeah. The girth? <laughs> yes. I guess a meatloaf can't have girth, can it? Wow. Whereas everything could have girth. It's just the distance around. So, great. like, I don't even... Like, the, the proper thing, I, I mean... What do I even want to put this on? I don't have anything. Ugh. Something lovely. Something who? Lovely. I don't have lovely. I have yeah, this. you do. Well, that's perfect. So the question now, is, can you get it off in one piece? Oh. You don't know who you're talking to here, son. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Chief, you're on one. The king of the meat. Do you want me to not do that? There you go. Yeah. Go there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, mother. It's got to be hot. Oh. Oh, and I wasn't supposed to have that. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Look at it. That's beautiful. You want to put a little, a little bit of cilantro on the top of that thing. Put a little cilantro on the top of that. You want to put a little uh, chopped green onion? You could totally do that. It's meatloaf week. 